What's up guys? Welcome to my channel Legator Connect. My name is Manu Kobis and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can connect your smartphone whether it's an iPhone or Android phone, how you can connect the camera of it into your Vivix software so that maybe you can use it as your support uh, a camera or your primary camera as well. So this is a demo of it as you can see on the screen, as you can see on the Vivix screen you can see that I'm, 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 I'm actually there okay so I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, this is the camera of the, my iPhone and then show you right on the on the on the Vmix software. So guys, I'm going to show you how to do this and this is a straightforward thing, it's not difficult to do. I believe that you guys can follow along. Okay, so if you are new to this channel, subscribe to my channel and then press on the bell icon, subscribe to the channel, press on the bell icon and share the video so that others can benefit from this video. So guys, without much ado, let's jump right into the tutorials. Okay guys, so uh, let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is to install the Larynx Broadcaster application on our smartphone. Okay, so if you are using an Apple iPhone, this is how the icon looks like. And if you are using Android, this is how the icon looks like. Okay, but one cool thing about this, then uh, this application is that it's totally free. So you will not pay any money for it. Okay, okay so let's proceed. So the next step we have to do is to connect the smartphone and the PC to the same network and we can use Wi-Fi to achieve this result okay so make sure that your smartphone and your PC is connected to the same network if you don't have Wi-Fi you can use your smartphone hotspot to achieve this result after that press on the Windows key plus R then type CMD in the, in the, in the, in the small side bar down over here then click OK then you will get the command prompt Okay, you get the command So right now what we want to look for is the IP address of this computer. Okay, so let's search for the IP address of this computer. So just type IP config config and press OK. Okay, so if you type the IP config, this is the IP address you are going to use. Okay, this is what I highlighted. Yours might be different from mine. So if you type it, you get yours different. Okay, so this is the IP address that we are going to use for configuration in our Larix application so take notes of this IP address so let's move on to the Larix application on my smartphone let me show you the rest of the settings okay guys so on your smartphone launch your Larix application like this then you click on the settings at the down here okay the settings icon when you click on it then it will take you to this page what you are inserted here is to click on the connection then at the, at the, at the top right corner there's a plus button over here click it and then let's add our configurations here okay so add the name you can select any name you want okay so maybe i will choose the guitar connect the guitar i will just, just keep it simple the guitar connect. and then the url the url so re you remember the ip address we got from our computer so we use that for url and then we add our port number to it so this is how we are going to set it up so we are going to type s out column s out column forward slash two forward slash the yeah, IP address will come 192.168.1.1 column we are setting our port number here so the port number it can be any port number of your choice so i'm setting 20 22 3 so that's my port number over here and then uh, the mode you leave it audio and video you can select if you want only audio or video here so you can choose the mode you want and then the the sender mode you, you put it at core okay and the latency is 2000 so you can change it to any number you want okay so that one so it depends on you then after that you save it okay you save it then you you check it out you check it out so let's continue the rest of the uh, tutorials on the pc okay so at this point um you have to launch your vmix software okay this vmix 24 i'm using you have to launch the vmix software and then click on add input over here and then you click on stream SRT. Stream SRT. 
when you click on the stream SLT. Then when you come to the stream type, click on the drop button, then select SLT listener. Okay, select the SLT listener and then here come and input your port number. Okay, input your port number. Okay, so at the port side, add your port number. Okay, this is my port number. This link, okay, this link. When we're uh, registering our Laret broadcaster application, remember we got our IP address on our computer and I add it to ask any port number you want. So this is my port number I'm adding over here. So yours will be different from mine. So it's 20, 22, three. And then click on OK. All right. Click on OK. So we are done setting our SLT on our gaming. So let's head over to our phone and let's do the last configuration over there. Okay. So when you land the Laris application like this, and then press on this uh, uh, record button over here. Okay. So when you press on the record button from the Laris application like this, you easily get the signal on our computer okay this our uh, um, this uh, the the the, the vim mix okay you can clearly see that the signal have been transferred into the vim so we are getting the output of the camera on the vim mix application okay this is very cool because it will allow you to stream and do whatever i wanted to do with it okay